In this video, we're going to talk about how to find a reciprocal of three things, a whole number, a fraction, and a mixed number. So let's start with 5. What is the reciprocal of 5? 5 is the same as 5 over 1. To find the reciprocal of a fraction, all you need to do is flip the fraction. So the reciprocal of 5 over 1 is just 1 over 5. Now let's say if we want to find a reciprocal of 3. 3 is 3 over 1. All we need to do is flip 3 over 1 to 1 over 3, and that's the answer. So let's say if we want to find a reciprocal of 7, it's simply 1 over 7. The reciprocal of 9 is 1 over 9. The reciprocal of 4 is 1 over 4. And the reciprocal of 6 is 1 over 6. So that's how you can quickly find the reciprocal of a whole number. Now, what is the reciprocal of 2 over 3? If you have a fraction, all you need to do is flip the fraction. The reciprocal is 3 over 2. The reciprocal of 5 over 7 is 7 over 5. The reciprocal of 9 over 4 is 4 over 9. Once again, all you need to do is flip the fraction. Now, what if you have a mixed number? Let's say 3 and 2 fifths. What is the reciprocal of that? The first thing you want to do is you want to convert the mixed number into an improper fraction. So first, you want to rewrite the denominator of the fraction, which is 5. Next, you want to multiply 3 times 5, and then you want to add 2 to it. So I'm going to write that out. 3 times 5 plus 2. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 plus 2 is 17. So that's how you can convert a mixed number into an improper fraction. Now, once you have the improper fraction, you can flip it in order to get the reciprocal. So the reciprocal is going to be 5 over 17. And this is the answer. So that's how you could find a reciprocal of a mixed number. Let's do some more examples. So let's find a reciprocal of 4 and 3 over 7. So first, let's change this into a, an improper fraction. So we're going to rewrite the denominator, which is 7. And then we're going to multiply 4 times 7. And then we're going to uh, add 3 to it. So that's 4 times 7 plus 3. 4 times 7 is 28. 28 plus 3 is equal to 31. So this is 31 over 7. Now to find the reciprocal of that, we are going to flip the fraction. And so this becomes 7 over 31. And thus this is the answer. Here's another one that you could try. Find a reciprocal of 5 and let's see. 7 over 8. Feel free to pause the video and try that example. So let's turn this into an improper fraction. Let's begin by rewriting the 8. And then let's multiply 5 times 8 and then we'll add 7 to it. So 5 times 8 is 40. 40 plus 7 is equal to 47. So this is 47 over 8. Now, let's find a reciprocal. So flipping the fraction, this becomes 8 over 47. And that is the answer for this one. Here's one more example. Try this one, 9 and 4 over 5. Find a reciprocal of that. So let's begin by multiplying 9 and 5, and then add in 4 to it. So 9 times 5 is 45. 45 plus 4 is 49. So this gives us 49 over 5 as an improper fraction. The reciprocal of 49 over 5 is going to be 5 over 49. And that's it for this one. So now you know how to find the reciprocals of a mixed number. What about this one? Let's say if you have an algebraic expression, a plus b divided by c minus d. What is the reciprocal of that? 
Once again, all you need to do is just flip the fraction. So this is going to be C minus D over A plus B. Let's uh, rewrite that again. And so that's the answer. So remember, in order to find the reciprocal of a fraction, just flip the fraction.